Welcome to Sterling Stocks. Today we're going to be talking about ticker symbol TRCH and MMATF. I'm not a financial advisor, so do what you will with this information. Be sure to like and subscribe if you already have, I really appreciate it. So today we're going to be looking at the Lockheed Martin deal a little bit more, and then we're going to be looking at possible other links towards Tesla or ways we could help out Tesla in a partnership or just use them as one of our customers and then at the end we will look at torch special dividend details they're already known details but i've been kind of getting some comments so i just kind of want to touch on some uh actual details so uh, there's some people maybe not as confused so if we look here we're going to be looking at solar cells quite a bit we'll just touch on this real quick solar module prices have risen 18 percent since the start of the year after falling 90 percent over their previous decade the reversal fueled by quadrupling cost of key raw material polysilicon so as we know as men of materials we have new technology that will cre increase the total output of solar cells thereby reducing the cost of every kilowatt of ener energy generated once again increasing solar power in general and then if we look a little farther down here meta materials are in it in essence the materials of the future mti is pioneering large-scale affordable nanofiber technology that can push the boundaries of crystalline silicone solar efficiency and create very thin form factors for solar cells so as we can see here we can create much smaller solar cells that could be good for airships as we look at this lockheed martin deal what they are known for is lockheed martin has invested more than 20 years to develop hybrid airship technology so last night i misspoke and said blimps i should have said airships the difference is a blimp is a balloon that kind of floats through the air aimlessly and then an airship is more controllable lightweight and hint metamaterials so we can create a film that would basically create a whole sensor around this we can probably do a whole bunch of things with these airships one thing that these airships could be used for is traveling into uh space or in the high sky cities they could be used as advertising maybe alpha centura if we look here at some dd brought to me by chunky be sure to go give him a follow at phd parody on twitter so if we see here the uh St the air airship airship itself is it has a solar cell here the material like i said uh like i was saying as chunky said uh would be a reflective material that would create a whole sensor have a radar in it energy storage there so uh more lightweight more smaller more aerodynamic can be used for much other stuff and as you can see here uh can also be used for ads per se if it was more so like built in another way than just like a rocket ship and we are interested in recruiting scientists to perform uh interstellar exploration so if we look here at uh some of the ways this could link us towards tesla per se is tesla has some solar panels they have a solar roof they have quite a bit of solar energy stuff but said Te tesla has run into trouble assessing the difficulty of certain roofs and said that uh problems with the underlying structure or it is not strong enough to hold tesla's solar tiles so one thing that could help with that is of course our ultra thin super lightweight uh, solar cells and that could help improve one thing that they do have they do have a partner with solar city as of 2016 and it is still in effect one thing i do want to show you that's interesting of course brought to me by chunky uh if we look here this is one of meta's meta's made headquarters in the united states if we look right here united states office 58 88 West Laws Pavis Pavis Boulevard. So uh, around there is three solar cities, and as you can see, there's pretty uh, two close ones right uh, in the same general vicinity. And California is a pretty big place. This is probably maybe a pretty popular area, but still, it's pretty ironic that they are relatively close. It was also brought to my attention the other day that Tesla factories and Meta share some same addresses. I'll try to do some more digging. I didn't quite get to that tonight because we are covering mainly solar panel stuff. So as i was saying that could be another reason why we are linked to tesla of course of course this is all speculation it's a stretch we never know as george kind of has pointed to in the past there are no dots to connect uh the, he's he said that tesla could possibly be a really good customer for him it's just really ironic if you kind of just really look at the fine details of this as we know uh chunky has done and it has been kind enough to share with us so be sure to give him a shout out for some really good dd and i think we have some uh really interesting stuff with this if we look a little more in this text here the uh 
chief executive of Lock- Lockheed Martin. He said, Meta Materials, uh, their work in the field of smart ma- smart materials and in developing a disruptive solar application suitable for flight is, is pretty huge because that points towards airships that could possibly go towards this interstellar that they are looking to cover, this Alpha Centura. We've covered the, the Breakthrough Starship project in past videos. I'll leave that video in the description. So, and that points towards someone, some people that are trying to get to that Alpha Centura. If we look at some shorts here, it's getting pretty interesting. A little bit less shares, not much. I mean, a little bit uh, less than half a million. Utilization still around the same. We'll see how it updates throughout the week. A little bit of a two-day delay, we know. Just under 15% as is a uh, sh- short percent on loan. If we look at this short uh, shares available, it's the most I've seen in a pretty good minute. We'll just have to see how it goes. Uh, One million, and then now there's 900,000, so... Keep that in mind. Shorts might just be easing up, but they might be saying, uh, we are no longer interested in this thing because if we see any type of run and they haven't covered, as we know, they still have to cover about 18 million. We've looked at short numbers last night. Be sure to check out that video. It says 93 million total. We never know if that number is totally accurate, but if it's one fourth of it, still would be lead to a pretty big squeeze. They're hoping for one more big drop down, in my opinion, to cover at least 18 million on the very low end what Ortex has. So they're hoping for one more drop down to cover those. If we can see a pretty good uptrend as the market looks like it's doing at the moment, then we'll just have to see what what to see. Always, you never know. This market has been red for so long, so I still get scared trusting it. Like I said, once we get over this 245, should see that 290 range relatively quickly. 265 should see a little bit of a resist but i think it will not be nowhere near as tough as this 245s and there's some pretty big walls about 245 and 250 so look for it right about that range as i was kind of talking to talking about in past videos but i really think the 245 range will be the key one to kind of leg up over it and kind of hold that 245s so the special dividend details that i wanted to cover is there i couldn't find the the screenshot of it but derek the investor relations guy has said that the shares will not come in cash form they will come in share form so that means that they're going to come they're not going to be deposited into buying power they're going to be deposited given to you as like a share and you're just going to own it and what i think that means is uh marva has kind of pointed out in the discord uh he said that if a company buys us out like a big big oil company, Exxon or someone like that, then they could just buy out with shares and us as shareholders will receive uh, those shares as our special dividend. And so that's what, I, what I'm kind of reading it into as since we're not getting it in cash form. It's still all right to do those special dividend guesses because you're going to get the full amount. It's just going to come in share form. It's not like you're going to get a, a big fat check that says this amount. You're just going to get a, a share that, that has that amount and then you could sell those shares and it's like you get cash. To my understanding, at some point you'll be able to start not right away uh but that's that's my understanding of it there there will not not be a cash dividend it's going to be a share and so i think it's likely that <coughs> we know of course if it's not sold by december 31st then they're going to spin it off themselves if if a big oil company does purchase it i think that we're still going to see some uh, a big oil company shares so just keep that in mind it's not going to be cash either way but so i think that means that the company that buys us out is going to give us some shares. So that's just my opinion on it. I could be wrong, but that's just kind of how I looked into it. If I do find that uh, picture, hopefully somebody will give it to me at some point. I'll, I'll try to dig through the Discord. It was a while back when it was posted. But if I do, I will be sure to update it or if I find it placed somewhere else. But it, to my understanding, it will not be cash. It will come in share form. If we look at some charts here, still kind of range bound here. It has kind of busted and hold over this 281. We'll see if it can start to work on those threes tomorrow if it stays pretty bullish. As for Torch, as I kind of pointed out, we're holding up nicely. Not a lot of sellers, a lot of holders. Uh, still need to see a little bit more volume to start testing this 245, 250s. But I think it will be shortly after that that we see the 290s, 3s range. More so 290 to get over that towards the 3s. We might retrace back a little bit, probably catch around this 265 once we start testing the 290s. Uh, but like I said, I think this 245s will be a really big uh, resist. So be sure to uh, like and subscribe, like I said. Uh, these, these tested things are, of course very speculative but you never know a lot of things kind of add up towards well uh it's either going to be a partnership or i think meta's or tesla's going to use this quite a bit or otherwise we might just run 
uh, Tesla into their ground because <laughs> they need our help. It looks like for probably plenty of other things. Uh, some other things we'll probably look up, look at in the, in the future is it can be applicable to a bunch of cars and stuff too. Uh, what Meta can do. So just keep that in mind. You still can get the three for one on Meta. You still can get special dividend. Your time's running pretty pretty close to out. Not quite out yet because I still think you'll have a little bit of time after six eleven. But I wouldn't chance it if I was you. Uh, but I think there will be a small window after 611, but if I was you, I'd get it before 611. MMATF will be day before the uh, merger is official. So you still got time to get at least three for one. Uh, so yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll probably be able to go live tomorrow. It should be a pretty easy day on work. And so yeah, be sure to like and subscribe and I will see y'all next time. Oh, be sure to go give a uh, chunky love 87 at phd parody a follow of course super good dd on the meta pretty much all these pictures i got from his telegram uh with his wishes of course he did allow me to so be sure to go give him a shout out very good dd and i will see y'all next time